Hollow Knight is an awesome game with many fantastic features all on its own. However, the game's enchantment has only been further added to by some dedicated mod developers. Dozens of mods are currently available through the Scarab mod installer, but there are certain ones that I think really stand out. In this video, I'll be counting down my personal top 10 Hollow Knight mods. Number 10, QOL aka Quality of Life. The mod's name describes exactly what it does for the game. I'm sure many of us have played through the game enough times that we don't feel the need to watch every cutscene or read Lem's dialogue for each individual relic you sell him. QOL easily speeds up these kinds of processes with just one keystroke. I mean, we all collectively spend a lot of time playing this game, and it's just as well that this mod makes sure we don't spend even more where we really don't need or want to. Number 9, Enemy HP Bar. Not knowing how much health an enemy has left can be a fun mystery sometimes, but in other cases, you'd really just rather know for sure. Thankfully, this mod delivers. The default HP bar it provides is even visibly divided into sections that often correspond with bosses' individual phases, such as how often Grimm does his pufferfish attack. The appearance of the HP bar can also be altered with a certain other mod that may or may not appear higher on this list. Number 8, Poorly Translated. If you're ever feeling down and need a good laugh, look no further than this mod. These absurd mistranslations couldn't possibly be made up by any human, only by translation software trying and failing its best. It leaves you to wonder just how exactly certain things ended up so dramatically changed in the translation process. Either way, the end result is very worth someone having taken the time to put all of the game's text through a bunch of languages and then back into English. I thank them for doing so. Number 7, Transcendence. Multiple mods alter charms or replace them with completely new ones, but none have a selection so extensive as this one. What's more, it doesn't replace any charms from the base game in the charm selection menu, it simply adds them onto it. These charms have a variety of different uses, from platforming to combat. Each one is also an interesting and clever concept from a lore perspective in their names, appearances, and locations. My personal favorite is Marissa's Audience, with Lem's Strength as a close second. Number 6, Palette Swapper. Hollow Knight is aesthetically beautiful as is, but this mod transforms it into a new kind of experience. In playing the game with this mod, I've encountered a red-hued Kingdom's Edge, a deep purple Ancient Basin, and a green God Home, to name a few. Better yet, the palette of an area changes each time you start up the game, so you could end up experiencing Dirtmouth in all colors of the rainbow in just one playthrough. This mod is something I never would have thought to do, but I'm glad someone did. Number 5, Bench Warp. Pretty simple and self-explanatory, but infinitely useful. It's not even just the benches, this mod will teleport you to any entrance of any room in the entire game. It also has an option to always show the name of the room you're in as it appears in the game's files. This aspect reveals some pretty interesting glimpses into the game's development, such as the fact that Kingdom's Edge was once called Deep Nest East. However you use it, this mod offers a way to get around Hollow Nest that's more extensive than even the Stagways. Number 4, Easier Pantheon Practice. I think many of us are probably indebted to the creator of this mod for our earnings of the Embrace the Void achievement. Exactly like the name says, this mod lets you practice a boss in their ascended arena as it appears in the pantheon of Hallowness without actually having to challenge them on ascended difficulty with the increased damage and boss health. It's the best of both worlds. 
practice really does make perfect, or at least in this case, a better prepared Pantheon 5 run. Number 3, Debug Mod. This mod offers so many features that it's hard to keep track of them all and the menu display takes up almost the entire screen. Most of these features are technically cheats, yes, but no one really uses them for that. It's all just to help you practice certain things, get places faster, get you out of a catch from another mod not working correctly, and explore parts of the map that you normally wouldn't be able to. It provides you anything you could possibly want or need for adjusting gameplay. Talk about instant gratification. Number 2, Custom Knight. I don't think any other singular mod has allowed the Hollow Knight community as a whole to contribute and show off their creativity in such a way. The knight isn't just a vessel as in a void being who could contain the radiance, they're also a vessel for any appearance someone could want to give them. The dozens of cool designs don't just alter the knight's regular sprites, but their spells, abilities, charms, enemy HP bars, and just about anything you could think of. The variety and ingenuity of all these skins is truly spectacular. Number 1, Randomizer. Each time you play the game with this mod will be an entirely unique experience. I'd say the feeling is a lot like playing the game for the very first time in that you never know what you're going to find next. Updates to this mod and additional add-on mods have only continued to expand the number of options for things to be randomized, things that many of us probably wouldn't have ever thought of. Whether you randomize just items, areas, or every single room, you're bound to have some good fun with this box of chocolates where you really do never know what you're going to get. So what do you think of my list? What are some of your favorite Hollow Knight mods, and what do you like about them? Let me know in the comments! Thank you for watching this video. Please consider checking out more of my channel if you're new here. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.